So here is a game with many players. It's uh, in fact not a s just many players, but a, an infinitely many, a continuum of players. The game is a game that comes from the transportation domain. We call it the traffic game. And imagine the following network uh, of four locations. Uh, the many drivers all start in location one and want to go to location B, and they can go through either the left or the right and uh, their choice of strategies are very simple and their preferences are also fairly straightforward. They're all defined by the delay they incur. But the delay is constructed in the following way. If they go down the uh, right, then the first leg of the, uh, the trip, the delay there is depends on how many people chose that, uh, that uh, that route. So call the fraction of the uh, drivers who go that way f, f is between 0 and 1, and that is the delay. The higher the fraction, the longer the delay. And the second leg is more straightforward. It's a fixed delay of 1.2 hours. Okay. S the situation on the left is constructed similarly. It is first a fixed delay of 1.2 and then a variable delay again as a function of the players who decided to go uh, on the on the right in this case one minus that fraction okay how do we uh, reason about such a game well first let's set it up as a formal game we have the set of players and in this case as we said is infinite it's all the rational numbers between 0 and 1 the uh, actions are for each of these many players is very simple, go left or go right. And the payoffs will be a function of the delay. There will be a minus the delay. The delay will be a function of the fraction. So let's uh, set it up formally. The uh, delay u sub i of the players will be, just as soon as I find my cursor here, the delay will be u sub i will be a function of the action ai chose by the player, left or right, and that fraction of players who decided to go right. Notice that we're making an assumption here of there being many, many players. So since there are an infinitely many players, the action of the one player won't impact that fraction that chooses left or right. So the, what's the payoff? The payoff is simply the sum of the delays, or minus the sum of the delays. So in the case of going left, it is a fixed delay of 1.2 and then a variable delay y minus f and similarly for uh, the act of uh, going right. Now that we have it set up we can reason about it. Let's reason about it and ask very simply when is it best to go left? Well it's best to go left if the delay there is less and the delay we just copy the f the, f the the expression we saw before, that's the delay of going left, and this is the delay of going right. And if you just rearrange the term, you see that going left is always uh, the best thing to do if at least half the players are going right. Similarly, a very simple uh, analysis shows you that if uh, at most half the players are going right, that is, uh, at, at, uh, at least half are going left, then the, best, uh, the unique best response is to go right. Well, with that, we're in a position to uh, show the equilibrium of this game. Let's think of uh, three different possibilities uh, to corresponding to what fraction of players are going right. Strictly greater than half of the players are going right, then that's what we've just, as, as we've just seen, going left is the uh, unique best response. Well, that means that no one is going right inconsistent with the assumption that at least half are going right. So this is an inconsistent uh, situation. By similar analysis you can, sh you can show that it can't be that uh, strictly less than half are going right. Well that means that the only possibility is that uh, we split the traffic uh, that exactly half are going left and half are going right and this is indeed the unique equilibrium. 
the delay that everybody experiences is 1.2 plus a half, which is 1.7, and this is uh, seems very straightforward. Indeed it is, uh, until we introduce the following wrinkle. And this brings us something to uh, something called the Braze Paradox, after the mathematician Braze, who in 1968 introduced this example in the journal called Transportation Science. Imagine that the government uh, has decided to do well with the population and built a new highway going uniquely from right to left, very fast, a very short delay of a mere 0.1 hours. Now agents have an additional option. They co can, as before, go strictly down the right or strictly down the left, or if they so choose, they can sneak, sneak around and take this route. Surely more options are always better. Well, let's see. What are the payoffs to uh, the agents who take these options? Again, we have three options. The first one are as, as before. If you go down the right, and we will just to be explicit about it, break it down. You go down the first, the upper right, and then the lower right, and the sum of your uh, delay is this delay. No, no, no change to the strictly going down the left. As far as snaking around goes, well, you incur the first variable delay of going down the upper right, then the very low delay of 0.1 of going across, and then again the variable delay of going down, um, going down the, the bottom left. And now notice something interesting. Notice that, in fact, the snaking around is better than going either straight down left or straight down right. And why is that? Well, let's look at going down right. Uh, we have this variable delay, which is common to this snaking around. And then we have the fixed delay of 1.2 various this variable delay of this. Now, what could that be? Well, FL2 will be at most 1. And therefore, this variable component will be at most 1.1, which is less than 1.2. And therefore, snaking around is better than going down right. And by a similar analysis, you show that it's better than going down left. That brings us to the uh, very unambiguous situation where everybody prefers to snake around. It's a dominant strategy for them. Well, lo and behold, what is their delay? Well, if everybody goes down the, the right at first, that's a delay of 1, plus minus 1 plus 0.1 for going across, plus, since everybody's going down the bottom left, a delay of 1 for a total delay of 2.1, which is, of course, worse than the delay that we had of 1.7. Uh, this, um, uh, this, this is uh, a, you might seem as a theoretical curiosity. In fact, there's a anecdotal evidence that you see it in real life. There's a famous example uh, in Manhattan where 42nd Street was closed down for construction, and the claim is traffic eased in the city. Be that as it may, it's very clear that negative externalities, as they're called, uh, create very complicated uh, game situations. An externality is a situation very common where my action has a cost or a benefit to others in the game uh, with no control over them. In this case, my deciding to take a particular route created additional congestion to other players. And this particular game is constructed in such a way that the negative externality is substantially exacerbated by the additional of this new apparently benign link. That's the Braze Paradox.